morning, America! Welcome to the sum of it all. I'm Jacob, and this is Sigma News. And I'm Chaz Squared, bringing the news straight to you. So, Jacob, how was the game last night? <laughs> what game? Would you actually call that a game? The Grassfield Oilers wiped the floor with the third derivatives. Known by the more dedicated fans as the Jerks. <laughs> what an accurate name. Anyway, for more about the team after their impressive victory, let's send it down to the, to the reporter with the team. Today uh, we're at the Grassfield Early Stadium and we're going to talk about this up and coming star, Velo City. Here with us is his coach, Accelerate. So Accelerate, tell me, what's so special about this new kid? Well, you see, Velo is just the next generation of football. He has mastered what has become a very necessary skill to the game. Um, he has become majorly proficient in calculus. Uh, this kid can derive functions that other kids can't even dream to understand. Very interesting. Get him, Val! The equation for the curve of my throw is negative 4.9t squared plus 3t plus 2, and the derivative is negative 9.8t plus 2, which models the velocity of my throw, which means he should be just about there. Yeah, Val! I even saw him and am truly amazed by this beautiful shot, but what else can he do? Well, Remon, I am so glad that you just asked because he is also a very capable receiver. He can perfectly time his acceleration to beat out his opponent. He's the best. Cool. How to get how it's done. You watch him work, all right? I need to run with a velocity of 2x feet per second. That means I need to accelerate at 2 feet per second squared. What is that, uh, French? Like, Val! Yeah, Val! Val is clearly an amazing player. I'm, I'm, I'm wondering what uh, Grassfield Oilers are going to achieve this um, season. Hopefully they're going to do way better than last season because it was pathetic. I just really want to thank my great coach, Axelrath. His knowledge and calculus to help me dominate the game. All that and my intelligence and raw athleticism. Um. Val, I just wanted to tell you that it has been a pleasure coaching you and teaching you how to play the game of football. All I can say to you is remember the derivative rule. A to the N minus one times N. Thank you for that riveting account of Grassfield's up and coming team. I bet they'll be good enough to go all the way to states. Or maybe even to nationals with how dedicated Wello City sounds. He sure does sound dedicated. He really is going to be the star that Grassfield truly needs if they want to go far. But for now, let's take a short break and go to an advertisement. We'll be back with the weather. Now presenting, Chris Fultz. Hey, what a surprise to see you here. Hi, uh, it's Chris Bulls here with the special TV offer. So for a quick price of $19.99, you can get the uh, calculus A, B, and B, C books, and cross the algebra, I mean calculus AP exam, and uh, spend lots of time learning fun things like uh, all about John Growski, the great author. Here's one of our satisfied customers. This is so awesome. Yeah. Yeah! Golden Hooker! Ah! Ah! Oh, what's your name? Uh, and here's another one of our uh, satisfied customers. These books change everything about me. What do I get paid? <laughs> Welcome back to Sigma News. I sure hope you like Polars because as we promised, we're going to be serving up with Duncan and Cam at the weather station. We'll experience some weather in the Midwest region and the fronts will uh, be modeled by a sine x plus 10 and a sine x plus 5. Now to find the area in between, we'll use an integral from 0 to let's say 12 pi. And we'll do that sine x is n minus sine x is d x. And that 
should give you an area of about 188 square miles. Thank you, Cam. Uh, currently in the Atlantic, we have a hurricane named Derive, and it's following a track of e to the negative x along the east coast. We have calculated the area of it with the integral from 0 to 20 pi of 1 over 2 theta, which equals about 324 miles squared. Wait a second. So it's not a category three anymore, it's a category five. So run for your life. Bye. <laughs> now we'll turn the time over to Chris, who's dancing with danger in the flood. Turn around. What? what? Hey, we're live. What? Oh, no, well, let's just restart it. Come on. My hair's not my hair's not even good right now. Just give me a chance. Come on, go. No, what? We gotta restart start it. Start the scene. Just, just restart it. Go! Dude, just restart it for me. Come on. All right, well, uh, we're live here in the place that we're at. And um, it's uh, raining a lot. Uh, ah, it's raining. Stop! Stop! It's raining. Stop! Okay, so, so you saw the rain, and it's uh, really heavy, and there's a lot of dangers of floods and other things that happen with water and stuff. Hey, stop! That's too much rain! Stop it! That's too much! <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, stay indoors. That's safe and rain and not sun that's there. Another day, another time of interesting weather. Thanks, Duncan and Cam. Well, on that note, that's all we have for you today, folks. After all, a show is only the sum of its parts. See you tomorrow with another awesome show. Bye-bye, America. Enter the glass room of the famous Miss Quich. We're going to interview her. We don't know what's going to happen. Are we ready? Let's go, guys. Four. So, Miss Quich. How do you feel about this project? Oh, I'm excited to see what happens in the end. To see what, how the weather is and... Those were nice words from Ms. Quick.